Masa, you have a great Instagram feed. Are you ready to check it out? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the first photo, you like to golf? Yeah, I love golf. <laughs> <laughs> How far can you hit a ball? If I can get the ball to go straight, then I can get it over 300 yards. Wow, 300. Yeah. So you're pretty good. But the percentage of being able to hit it straight down, it's not that high. How about putting? Are you a good putter? No. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that I don't like putting. It's part of the game, but it's a game of like real sensitive touch. You can't just pick it up during the off season. You gotta be consistent in, you know, I guess putting and that makes you a better putter. Okay, and you do have some pretty good short game on the baseball field. Here you are bunting. I feel like I'm a better bunter on our team as well. I feel like I can bunt fairly well. How have you done in the batter's box so far in your career? I was playing in a league equivalent to the American League back in Japan as well. You only get so much at bats during the season. So no, batting, you know, really wasn't my thing. But you do have one hit, so we got that going. The next one, here you are at the racetrack. Do you enjoy horse racing? Yes. Yeah, I do enjoy horse racing. You know, I at least go once to watch a race during the off season. What got you into it? I think the start was when I was a kid. They had horse racing video games and I was into that. And you kind of pick up on the name of the horses and stuff. And once I reached the age where I was able to bet on horses, I started doing that. The fun part for me is I like really looking at the numbers, trying to figure out what's the best buy according to what the horse did and what the horse did not do. Going through those data and seeing what is the best way to go. I like doing that process. So, you know, that part is fun for me. One other thing that I like about horse racing is all these horses they have bloodlines there's the mother and there's the grandmother and the grandfather and you look into that and there's sort of a drama or that romantic story behind that that's something that intrigues me as well all right so you mentioned horse names if you had to name a horse what would you name it yeah not realistic enough so i can't give you a good one right now maybe in the future you like to fish. Do you always catch fish this big? No, no, not no, no, all the time. But the one in this picture, it's the biggest bass that I've caught. Will you continue to fish more and more to try to get to another big one like this? Absolutely. The next goal is to try to get something a little bit more bigger than the one in the picture. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> next one, your glove. What do you have written inside and why? What it's saying is it's about sort of the heart or you can maybe translate it into soul or like inner energy. And that's something I really take importance in. I think all the technicality in baseball is important, but when you get to that end point, you need to perform. I think what sort of distinguishes from winning and not winning comes down to what you have inside. So that's to remind myself of that. I have that on my glove. Wow, that's a great reminder. So is this in every glove that you have? Yes, all my game gloves I have that written in. So one of your most popular photos on Instagram mm -hmm. is the thumbs up photo. Oh, yeah. This is probably the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 that one when we were on the road. It just so happened that they were doing some fireworks after the game, and I was fortunate enough to get that photo in. Like you said, you got the fireworks in the background. Will we be seeing a lot of these this year? So it's me. Oh, absolutely. We want as many as those as possible. So, you know, really looking forward and doing my best to get those out. What would you say is your favorite part about Instagram, and why should people follow you? Instagram, I think, is a good way to reach out. I like Instagram because it kind of shows you the private side, like hobbies, what one particular person likes to do on an off day, per se, and not so much just about business or work. That aspect, I like. You look at it and you feel like, oh, this guy likes to do this and this guy likes to do that. So that part I really like about Instagram. As far as why people should follow me, um, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure why people are following me that much. <laughs> well, it does look like you have a lot to offer, and I'm sure the Yankees fans are going to be looking forward to some more thumbs up posts from you. Thank you, and I'll do my best to put those thumbs up photos as much as possible this season. <laughs>